Do, 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 do. What's up guys, Russ Lyman here, and we're going to be playing some Power Blade 2 on my NES Classic system. This is an expensive game for the NES, so not a lot of people get to enjoy it. I have the first one and played it and beat it and thought it's great. Similar to Mega Man meets Ninja Gaiden, there's a lot of cool upgrades, and it's a great platformer, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Power Blade, do. Jay, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Bubby's in the house. <laughs> Riding my motorcycle. So this is your level select screen. You don't have to play everything in order. It's like stage five might be the uh, the last stage, so you do have to beat the four stages before you go to level five there. I played a little bit before I started streaming, so I'm gonna try to go through stage one and two again. I most likely will probably use some save stage just to make it a little easier, because starting back so far just, it's annoying. <laughs> They did do a cool uh, ROM hack of this game where it's Captain America and he's throwing his shield instead of the boomerang. It was, uh, I believe, Captain America Winter Soldier is the ROM hack. And you get a slide too, kind of like Mega Man. That's why, you know. I uh, said it's like Mega Man meets Ninja Gaiden. And you got your power meter there, so either you could spam it fast to throw more boomerangs, or wait for it to kind of fill up and then it damaged the enemies more. The sunglasses are slick. <laughs> I want Power Blade 1. Towards the end of the NES life, man, they had some great games to come out. Oh man, definitely. I picked up my copy of Power Blade 1 probably like like four or five years ago. I don't know what it's going for now, but I imagine it's probably like 30 bucks or something, maybe. And I was like, this one looks cool. He's got like cool boomerang. He kind of looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger on the cover there. Even even the silhouette right there, very, you know, 80s action superhero star there. Let me get a quick save in here. Give him a little hamburger. You gotta watch out for the spikes. Whoosh. Whoosh. All right, wait for this platform. Watch out for the spike ceiling. It's kind of like those things in Mega Man when you jump, they move faster. Lots of inspiration from, from those platformers. To the next section. My NES class will be modded soon. Sick man, yeah, I have tons of games on my classic, and you know it's it's great to have and easy to stream like this. I don't have to have all the carts. I just dropped off my Super Nintendo classic to my friend. He's gonna put all the Super Nintendo games on there, and he said he could do all 16 bits. So like Sega, I might do Sega CD on there as well. And it helps a lot with, with streaming like this, so I don't have to have every single game. And it's great I get to use still, because the uh, the Classic has, you know, the original controller there. I do have my Wii mod it, and you can plug these controllers into the Wii. And on there I do have, like, Turbo Graphics and a few other games. Alright. Made it to the next section. Here we go. Save going. And he put a ton of stuff on this classic here. I was just looking because I wanted to play Castlevania, and I think there's like 10 different Castlevania hacks, as well as the, the second one. I was like, my lord, in Super Mario, there are pages of Super Mario hacks. I can't easily add the games on, but, you know, if I give him a list of kind of stuff I want, he'll do it. Alright, so you have these doors right here in the game. 
and you'll fight mini bosses where you'll um, gain armor upgrades. So they're like a mech dragon. I beat him before, it should be pretty easy. He comes at you with a blade, you should jump over it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, got him. Then you get your armor right here. Shows you which one you get. You've obtained new it suits. <laughs> Alright, so what that basically is, to break it down. So on the screen right now, you have your power of your weapon, then your energy, or your your player is your, your life bar. And energy is how much time you can use your suit for. So when you pause, you can now go through the suits you have. And this is the new it. He changes into a suit. So I get a cool boost theme here. And the longer I'm in it, that energy will deplete. Can I make this jump? <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. In this one, you can climb. I should have got that. That was a little battery that gives me more energy. This guy's sweet. You should climb anywhere. You climb on the wall, climb on the ceiling. Makes the game a lot easier. And he slides like all the way across the screen. I right, don't want to waste all the energy on that though. Really cool level designs here. A lot of this scrolling and stuff up and down. Pretty easy though. It's not like it's super hard. Forgiving, definitely. Sometimes I wonder why I don't sell all my games. I just use the classic. I hear you. I stopped collecting a lot of the Nintendo games from going to cons and stuff once I got my classic modded because I have mostly all the Nintendo games that I grew up with or that I wanted or um, that I want to purchase. Some of the games I want to play, like um, Batman um, Return of the Joker is really fun but also expensive. Like this game's expensive, Little Samson, and I'm just not going to spend that money on them. Turbo Jesse! What's up, Turbo Jesse? Welcome to the live stream. Oh, I'm gonna miss my gate. Ah! Oh, wait, no, never mind. You gotta break these bricks. I got confused for a hot second. <laughs> Get my battery! Nice. What's up, Russ? Never played this game. This game's pretty expensive. Power Blade 2 we're playing. Um, it's well over, I think, a $100 game. I'm gonna save right here because I know I'm gonna get killed by these spikes. But the first one right here, um, just as good and a lot cheaper. I think it's, um, might be $30, $40. Great platformer. Oh, well, I don't want to. I actually could, yeah, this guy, because he'll, he'll slide all the way across in my awesome pink armor suit. Wait for it. <laughs> and I messed it up. I thought he was going all the way. That's why we saved them. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm thinking I'll hit the milestone and be done. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Boom, we got it. Alright, on to the next part. So with this, like, boom, climbing up. We just climb across. Don't have to worry about anything. Shoot these guys. They're not even hurting me. Just to kill them. Bam! Kill them robots. Gotta watch my energy, though. If it gets low, I'll turn back. Boom. 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 It ain't no thing. I wish they would drop something, though. No energy or nothing. Alright, I think this is the boss. Get a quick save. <laughs> Real men wear pink. Indeed, I have a few pink shirts, why not? 
It's the first time I'm wearing my cool Nintendo shirt here. My buddy at um, Scoreless Printing made this. I figured it matches real well since I'm playing a Nintendo game. Might as well. All right, we'll stick with the pink because he has a more powerful weapon. Slide. Gotta get rid of this guy's little force field. He, he those little things hit the ground and then fire shoots up, so you gotta watch out for that. But we got him. One more. Boom. First boss done. Turns back to his 80 stuff. Let's torch this place and get away. I guess he set some explosions and freaking runs at the speed of light. He's running at ludicrous speed. <laughs> A successful escape. And that's it. You go to the next stage, pick whatever stage you want. It goes awesome. <laughs> Seems like a shirt an NES addict would like. Definitely, man. Hey, Christmas time's coming up. Got some razor blade buzz saws on the ceiling here. So you gotta be careful with jumping in this one. Definitely keep the sliding going. Oh, didn't see that guy. Wait for it. Okay. Ah! My boomerang of death. Yeah, this came out pretty late in the NES library here and looks great. Backgrounds and everything are really cool. Show you know how much the system could really do. Oh, we'll wait, we'll wait. All right, we'll go here. Oh boy. All right, can we make this jump? Ah, boom, we got it. Ah, slide in. Oh, get that. <laughs> Bam. All right, we got this. Next section. Here we go. Perfect. Section at a time, that's how we do it. He almost looks like he has wolf ears. <laughs> Dark helmet. <laughs> Sorry for me. Yeah. Slides too much. You gotta be careful with this level too, because see how you can't see the floor? You almost gotta wait, because if you go too early, you'll actually die. It's all about timing on this. Okay, go. Nope, took a hit. You can't get rid of these balls of death here. I think I went this way last time. There's a guy over here. In the door. Don't want to hang around and get squished. Bing, spick a bing, bing, pink dude, change. Oh, <laughs> platform. Come on, pop up so I can kill you. There you go. Oh, this is cool. You get into the uh, the water. But I'm gonna get a water suit in a hot minute. I jump. Oh, you can. Oh, didn't make it. <laughs> oh, you can. These are like piranhas. I think they like electrify the water. So you gotta be careful. Oh, took a hit. It's alright. All right, let's pause it. It's gonna save. Fight this boss, mini boss, whatever you want to call it. Get my upgrade, get my suit. Turbo Jesse says, love the Halloween special. Curious how long that took you. Well, Jesse, <laughs> I actually started it on Tuesday night. I finished doing my Portland retro gaming video and uploaded that and then immediately started editing 
my Halloween special. I had everyone send in their clips, and I had copied everyone's comments from Facebook, and I edited it. I maybe started editing about 6 o'clock, and then I stopped um, maybe around midnight. Um, the whole thing that was taking so long was the rendering on my computer, pulling a lot of the files in, and I just had to sit there and wait, and that just took time. And I got it pretty close, um, but I had to go to bed because I had to be at work at 6 a.m. the next day. So I went to work, got out at 2.30, came home real fast and put the final touches on it and then just uploaded it. A lot of times with the videos I make, though, I like to watch them through and see if I could tweak it. And it was just hard with that one because it was a half hour long. I didn't have time to keep wasting a half an hour re-watching it. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I put music everywhere that needed to be and it was pretty close to done, so just prayed and upload it and I, I was astounded how many people watched it it got over 100 views and you know it's a half hour long so that's sweet glad a lot of people enjoyed it and i got those people to make video responses and yeah all right this guy moves too slow in the water all right this one you gotta i can't jump it's gonna kill me you have to slide on this one and you stay low that that was the trick on this one boom boom you slide under him you get close dig -a, dig -a, dig -a, dig -a, dig -a. That, all right, boom, boom. Okay, we can get this, get close. Daka, 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 boom, got it. Just like that. Super bummed I didn't get to film anything for the Halloween special. Love the commercials. I had so many commercials I wanted to include, but I didn't want to make the time longer just having fun commercials. I've obtained the wetsuit. At least they give you uh, full energy after doing that too. All right, let's get the wetsuit on. Catch up here on the cut. Um, that reminds me of the shark in Battletoads. Nice. Not to mention me putting more stress on Russ, making him put out our video. That's true. Jay messaged me and was like, hey, are we still in the, doing that top five collaboration? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> why not? Send me, send me what you got. I'll, I'll film my stuff. And that was the most I worked all week. Like, I literally got back from Portland and was editing and putting out a video every day for almost a week straight. No, I want to stay in the wetsuit. <laughs> so he floats. He can move a lot faster in the water. Pretty awesome. He's in a gold color. Yep, so you can just go up and down. I think I just got some more energy. That's what that was. Oh, yeah. Might as well get some battery here. Get some battery for my suit. Triple A's. So run on D. Who knows? Alright, shoot that. Down we go. Okay, watch out for this. This is fun. The, uh... I want to switch, because... Yeah, we'll go with him. The fire rises. You gotta wait and jump on the platforms at the right time. Goes right to the top. You gotta get there. Hold down so you don't get knocked off. And wait here. Do not get killed by bubbles. Wait again. Wait. Boom. Go. A little out of time. Do you have any background in video editing or just self-talk? Um, somewhat, yes. I actually, in high school way back in the day when I went to high school um, we had vi video editing there but it was all with VHS tapes very different from editing on a computer um, so once video software came out on the computer to edit I had gotten a MacBook and I played around with iMovie a lot and you can see uh, you know some of my first YouTube videos if you look them up they're all in iMovie and I shot it all with the camera here. I just used the web camera and shot a lot of stuff like that. Because I didn't have a nice camera I could mount um, and, and get footage that way. But yeah, it's all watching videos of how-to videos um, of editing and practicing over and over. Um, right now I've been putting out at least two videos a week for well over a year. So that, that gives you tons of practice and everyone always compliments me on on the quality of my editing, so it, it shows. The more you practice at something, the better you get. 
Ah, oh, that was too fast. Good thing we saved right there. Killed by the screen. I literally just said, sorry, Russ, out loud. <laughs> nah, man, it's no worries. I said we did the the summer one, and so I kind of had an idea of how we edited it together. So it, was, it wasn't it was as bad as it was. That's why it's easy. I like doing those top fives. It's way easier than a top ten, and it doesn't drag on, and you get that nice five to seven minute mark. And you just give a, a quick a quick couple facts about the game. You don't have to go into crazy detail, a little backstory, and people get the idea. It's all about the presentation. Uh, where's the... There's one that walks... Uh, that one? Pink man? Alright, we got plenty of energy, not plenty of player energy, though. Gotta be careful. It's like toxic slime underneath. Oh, I took a hit. One more hit, we're done. Let's see if I can pick up a hamburger somewhere. Let's wait. Go. That guy could just run right on the slime. Ah, gotcha. Got you. Ah! Oh, I was thinking I should wait, but nope. Oh, we're all the way back here. Good thing we saved, I think, closer? <laughs> yeah, the beginning of this. All right, I'll have to save when I get to the next next part again. What are we saying here? I wish I had time to do more, but I take a look. Dude, I used iMovie up into maybe, maybe two years ago. Depends how far back you go and look at my videos. You could kind of see when I had the transition. It was a week, like I had gotten Final Cut and I didn't want to miss my schedule, so I had to learn it within a week and put out my next video. But having Final Cut, you can do so much more. Having multiple images on screen. With iMovie, they would only let me put like one image on screen. Um, and with Final Cut, you know, I can have things slide in, different images if I'm talking about a game and then have picture in picture. So much better. Um, a lot of people like using Premiere. I haven't dived into Premiere at all. Uh, but my buddy uh, Rax the Great there had hooked me up with my copy of Final Cut. So I don't have the absolute latest version, but it does the job. And I'm running it on my, my MacBooks from 2012. And it's got an okay processor. I said sometimes I get hammered with the, uh, with the rendering. And that, that's the only thing that slows me down waiting for certain videos to render. Everything is in 1080p at 30 frames. It's not like I'm doing it 4K or anything. All right, let's save here. iMovie's pretty solid, hard for me to find a reason to upgrade. And Turbo Jesse just sub to NES Addict. Yeah, it all depends on what you're doing with video content. Um, you might not have to upgrade if your stuff is, you know, bare bones and straight into the point. Um, just if you upgrade, uh, it opens up a lot more. You have um, more stuff in it. But iMovie has definitely stepped up its game um, since since the beginning. Uh, not water. Uh, yep, that guy. Joop, boop. Yeah, it all depends. Again, would you film like I've been doing a lot of short movies and stuff like that, so I need to do more special effects in that area. So Final Cut helps me with that. I haven't gotten into any like After Effects stuff. That's like a whole nother ball game. Boo! Come on. Wait for it. Gotta love this animation of him walking like he's just like flexing it on the ceiling. How he's climbing up there, I mean. Alright, in we go. Is this boss battle time? Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna save. Let's see if we can just do it out. I did it before just like cruising up here. Boom, boom, boom. 
There it is. Easy peasy. Rax is my boy. <laughs> yeah, we hang out. He's close by. He's only a couple towns over, so sometimes we do video collaborations as well. On to stage three. Let's get a save going. jump <laughs> unless I got that guy or I rode the platform all the way up in we go so if you give me any any juice come out of your shell gotta love that slide a little slow down we good oh Okay, let's just take the hit and go through. first game, you only get um, something that your armor, uh, like, I think you only get one armor, and, it, and it, it goes by a lap faster. Oh, how do I, how did I get that? How did I regain some health? Let me get G, let me get, I think it's awesome you know Brian Q. Pepper, too. Oh, you're a CT guy. Yeah, I live in CT. Yeah, Brian, I met Brian when he came out to a convention. Um, Retro World Expo, maybe three years ago. We actually had the same tattoo, the uh, NES right here. We got the same tattoo at the convention center. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we've been buds ever since. And we try to hang out when we can. He, he's uh, over in Rhode Island. I love Brian, but we haven't talked as much lately. I take the blame for that. <laughs> How long has it taken you to get to 1,900 subscribers? Jesse's asking. NES Attic. Three years. I got my first 200 in the first year, then about 700 my second year, maybe. Yeah, Brian did get his NES. For some reason, we got to use the same tattoo artist and got it the same day, and his didn't come out as clean um, as mine. And I've gotten my Mega Man tattoo right here. I don't know if you can see it better. This Mega Man tattoo and, and my Mario 1-Up, all from the same artist. And it all came out great, but his NES remote um, didn't didn't come out well. And he even went back to get it touched up. And yeah, so he got it covered up. Got a big lighthouse thing going on. Looks cool. We're still buds. We're still NES bros. <laughs> all right, in we go. He's got some bouncy bounce. Sorry, this guy's got the wicked slide. Oh, we're on the conveyor belts. That's why I was sliding fast. Boom. Whoosh. Gonna lose the energy. I think we can get it. Oh. Two more hits, maybe. Hold that energy. Boom. 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 I'm not reaching him. Got him. All right. Build up my player energy. You've obtained rocket suits. I wonder why it's plural. Like, <laughs> do I get more than one? It's only one suit. <laughs> you obtained rocket suit. Kind of like rocketeer-ish going on. 
I like the one-up. Yeah. Oh, Jesse, if you look on my channel, there's actually a video of me uh, getting the, the one-up tattoo I put up up in there. Just search, you know, Russ Lyman uh, one-up tattoo. That was the last one I got. Um, I got my extra life. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll be getting... Pretty much I'm working on, you know, a full video game sleeve. Just when you hold down the, the jump button and you can you can fly. Like the Rocketeer. Alright, this is as far as I got in when I was playing before. I died by the fans. I think oh okay. So can you jump on the fans now? And then they stop. Yeah, see if you hit it while it's moving. I got sucked in though. Oh. Blast. English. <laughs> oh, do you die even if you just nick, you just touch them? He just walks into the blade and dies. I tell you, controlling this, it's not the best with the, with the rocket suit here. Ah, oh, again. Hopefully we don't have to rely too much on these rocket ones. This looks tough. That's lame. <laughs> Alright, should we go one platform at a time? Is it trying to be too ambitious? Because it pulls you around once those, once those things start. Ah, oh, again, sucked in. That it's tough. This is the hardest part we've gotten to. First, first two stages were a breeze. Yeah, it's definitely weird to control. Not, not too much precision here. Like I'm, I'm pushing as far left as I could, and he was barely moving there. saving right here. <laughs> nope, we gotta keep rocket guy. Ah, oh, sucked in. Thank God for these safe states, huh? <laughs> Getting some Mega Man vibes from this game. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely the later, later titles. Okay, so I have... When I jump, I gotta slow descend. And then if I hold it, okay. It's just fake. I mean, it's teaching you how to use this suit in this section right here, so. Okay, boom, down. Go. Up, up. Bam. Okay. We can try to get that thing. Whatever that does. Alright, we got this. Boom, we're in. Hopefully I don't need rocket suit for the next part here. And we'll save. Dude, that's the same death music from Bucky O'Hare, I think. Uh, it might be. Whatever it's made by the same company. You into modern games too, or really just retro? Um, yep, I got a PS4 and a Nintendo Switch. That's as modern as we can get. I don't play Xbox at all, so I don't have a, um, a Xbox One. But yeah, PS4, I got a ton of PS4 games. Um, what one I'm playing through right now? I still need to beat Uncharted 4. Um, the last one I beat, I'm looking at my list over here, on PS4. Um, it might have been Doom. I tried out Rogue Stormers. I don't know if you played that game. I got it for like eight bucks. I don't like it. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> that was the last PS4 game I bought. 
I could have gotten Mega Man 11 on PS4, but I wanted it on the Switch to have it on the go. Let's do this, dude. We can just not worry about these fans. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough energy. Oh, we just got make it. Oh, thank God I got more energy. We need the rocket though. <laughs> Spider-Man is so fun. Oh, I imagine everyone's talking about Spider-Man. Most fun game this year. Uncharted 4 is uh, it's great too. Yeah, I, I'm close to finishing it. I, I used, um, I beat Uncharted 1 on PS3 and then I bought the collection on PS4 and beat 2 and 3. And now I'm on four, so I really need to finish it. Complete the story there. All right, nice. Got through that. But now, you know, it's it, it's a toss-up because a lot of the games come out on both, and it's like I could get it for the PS4 cheaper than what it costs on the Switch with a lot of these games. Where they were only maybe forty dollars, but it's sixty dollars on the Switch. Actually, you know the last game I bought on. Not the last game, but before before this, where is it? Which I haven't played in a while, but boom. Dragon Ball Z Fighter. Which got announced for the Switch that it's coming out. Um, but yeah, this is this is really fun. Cool ass Robert Payne is in here. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Jay's got a split. All right, Russ, time for bed. Not without saying what's up to Robert, though. <laughs> Nathan Drake is some dreamboat. He's a dreamy guy. He'd be a fun uh, cosplay to do. Oof. This guy gunned me down. Gunned me down. Ah, oh, it wasn't fast enough. Wait, how do I use, uh, I have some energies. Right, E is like an, oh, those are like E tanks, right? I don't know what L is or how you use them. Let's see, if I just hit A, no, B, no. Select, does nothing, left and right, nope. Okay, you gotta hit select while you're on screen. So the L is that, I don't know what the E is then. Oh, E must be for the energy on my suit. Whoa! <laughs> that guy whipped, man, that killed my energy. Oh, I'm starting over, damn. All right, here we go. Do this, hit select fast to get my get my energy up. Let's not try to get murdered by whatever that was before. All right, not too bad. Okay, didn't give me nothing, but that's all right. like all the cool mech style robots you're going against. Yes, needed that hamburger. Definitely adds that futuristic vibe. Oh, nope, we don't need it. Is this boss battle? Yep, here we go. Pause it. Let's get a save. Russ sent you friend request on PlayStation Network. Oh, cool, man. I'll have to add it when I uh, get back on the PSN Network there.
I'm out of water. I'm gonna have to get a water break soon. <laughs> My water is uh, in a green bottle, so you don't see it when I <laughs> pull it out. Alright, boss battle. Alright, um... Looks like a pretty basic stage layout. I guess we can use any of our guys. I'll go with the guy that climbs walls, I guess. Oh, look at him. Like, shadow running. Climbing on the wall. He freaking devastated me. Was I even hurting him? <laughs> hey, let's go regular, dude. Oof, nope, we need definitely armor. Sold the 3D printer and got my PS4, man. Nice, man, I'm glad you could uh, you could sell it. Did you have to ship it or did someone pick it up locally? This guy's all over me. Think we gotta maybe do the rocket guy and fly away from him? That's the suit we got in here, right? Makes sense. Alright, we're surviving a little bit better. I wasn't... Man, I wasn't taking any energy off of him, though. Russ, does your store have any Wii with HDMI? Any clue the price? If so, you have to get a uh, adapter on the Wii. No Wiis, I know, were made with um, HDMI in them. They they do sell on Amazon. It's like eight dollars. It plugs into where the AV is, and then you can plug an HDMI cable into that. That's that's a cheap way to go. Someone picked up the printer locally. That's good, man. Glad you could sell it. Has to be. What do I hit him on the back? <laughs> it's gonna be a bit to figure this out. Jeez, Louise. Then we'll then we'll move forward in the game. Rocket, stay with the rocket. We have to wait for a certain cycle. That didn't work. Oh, we got him somehow. Got him when I think he was climbing across the ceiling. Maybe that's only when he's vulnerable. Because other than that, we're not getting any hits off of him. Tough boss battle. Gotta make sure my, my thing can have the distance. Ugh. Try with the regular guy? Oh, no, not, not that game. <laughs> I think I can reach him up there. Damn. Regular dude. Get one nope, nothing. Not one hit off of him here. Coming in close. Let's grab a Reese's. 
for good measure. How do we injure you? They're gonna have to see uh, a little walkthrough or something. Power Blade 2. You're gonna be stuck on this guy too long. Power Blade 2, boss. Strategies? Stage four. All right. Is it, are we in four or three? <laughs> Does it say if I pause? Or where is it? Let's see. Um, no, it doesn't. So it's talking about the bosses for stage. Three, this boss wears a suit from stage one. He jumps off the walls and ceiling, throws shurikens. Yep, this is him. While two fireballs rotating around the room damage you if you try the newt suit. Okay, good thing I'm not in the newt suit. Can be tough to beat, but easy if you know how, which I don't. <laughs> Use the rocket suit and hover slightly above the center of the room. Then fire straight, left, or right towards the boss. He will jump toward you throwing, but not touch you. Your blades would destroy the stars, ending this battle in your favor within seconds with little loss of health. So I'm supposed to stay in the middle and kind of bounce around? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta learn how to hover, I think, first. <laughs> Maybe I could get there with more energy. Let's practice hovering here. Okay, if I just hold in, I will stay hovered. Okay, now that we got that down. So, Robert, uh... What games you pick up on PS4? Did you get Spider-Man? I know that's the one everyone's kind of raving about. I barely got anything off this guy. Damn. I think we're making progression. <laughs> Just have to know when to shoot him.
Nope. I got Lego Star Wars Force Awakens and Battlefront. I may have Spider-Man tomorrow. Those should be pretty fun to play, though. I never got into the Battlefront series there, but it's kind of a... Uh, what, like a running gun-ish type game? You, you play online with people. Man, we can only still get like three bars off of them. And Spider-Man's big and open world, so I've heard. It's gotten great reviews. Nothing, nothing. I'm not figuring this trick out. I have to watch a video. Change. Rebels or the Empire and go up against each other. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, I gotta see how someone does this. Maybe reading it is not helping and I physically have to see it with my own eyes. How you freaking beat this boss. Peter's running slow with the stream going to look stuff up. <laughs> Come on, make the typing. Bada boom. Let's get a search going to see what we can find. See if I can find the boss, and then we can get back into this. Let that play. I'll try it a few more times. Got a little bit more on there. Seeing if I can find this. using a nude suit though. 
He blew through it using the newt suit. Let's see if it works. Baby. Watch that thing watch. Jeez, he did it in like seconds. He got him when he was like jumping on him. Certain he must have had a good good cycle pattern of the boss there <laughs> to hurt him so much. Change. through these here. Try the wetsuit? Who knows? Watch out when he comes down like that, because he's definitely killing me with his spear there. <laughs> I think I'm personally going to have better luck with the rocket suit. We seem to get four bars off of them. That's the best we can do so far. There has to be a certain point I'm not seeing when to hit him. him. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Not one hit went on him. How are you supposed to figure this out as a kid back in the day without the internet? They probably gave up. They were renting the game. They were like, we're done. And we got some hits on him there. I don't know how. Once we get past this, it's going to be like a breeze going through the other levels. 
As long as I can shoot those shurikens out. <sighs> we did. Oh, we got a more down. What was that? Two, four, eight, eight slots. How hard the last boss is. <laughs> Damn. I wish I could just hit one button and then he hovers and I don't have to touch anything. But you gotta hold it in if you want him to stay there. Or else he just drops back down. Hope you guys are enjoying my constant deaths over and over again. Nothing. Look, nothing's hurting him. Oh my god! Three! Three! Can't give up. Gotta gotta be strong and move on. I wasn't even looking at his energy. Just trying to keep the pattern going. Let's torch this place and get away. Whew. Oh my god. Painstaking. Please save on that. Stage four. Unlock, save, there we go, okay. Well, I think we only have two more stages. All right, let's drop it down a bit. You guys wanna say hi to uh, Lionel? Lionel's sleeping over here. We'll be able to see him on the end. <laughs> hi, baby. <laughs> I gotta bring Lionel to the vet tomorrow. Gotta get him checked out, get some blood work done, make sure he's in tip-top shape. I actually ordered, just ordered some um, stickers of Lionel. They're gonna be going up on my Patreon page. the walls I probably can't touch those I don't know it looks like some type of you don't want to mess with wall all right we gotta get the water suit on Definitely would be a pain without the water suit. 
you have to jump on all these platforms. Doing this out of order has got to be nuts. You have enough energy? Oh, yeah. Oh, should have got that battery. All right, Russ, I got to crash. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, Robert, thanks for checking it out. I'll see you later. Oh, I thought I could sneak by that. <laughs> Guess you gotta go up and around. should have paused while I'm saving, but it's all right. Oh, there's a door. Okay. Gotta fight the next boss. Get my next suit. See if we can do it. I don't have much energy, but I guess we'll try the water suit. There's a lot of water in this level. Let's go, dragon. So far, nothing too crazy. Just bouncing. We got it, I think. Yep, yeah, slide under. Alright, should be good. Whoa! Give me that suit. Give me some energy. You've obtained... Patriot suits. Is it red, white, and blue? Nope. But I got cool little orbs that protect me. I don't have much energy left. Yes! I'd be in the water one. <laughs> Move a little faster. There we go. Full. We're all up. Except no, I just got hit by that. Good. Next section. Here we go. Let's get a save. If I switch back, I don't really need this suit yet. Rocket suit here and float over? Probably. Nice. Oh god, that's going up. What happens? Am I gonna get crushed there and not go fast enough? Oh. <laughs> Thought we were gonna get flattened. and slide under. How did he not fit? That was stupid. Okay, I didn't save. Alright, we'll go through this.
do 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 Understand. Maybe the Patriot suit? Maybe I'm using the wrong suit. Maybe I gotta start further back and slide here. Definitely get stuck. Man, oh, you know what? I think I gotta do it on the coming down. Because it doesn't, I can stay up here, it's not gonna crush me. So when it comes down, then we go. We got this. I don't need to waste energy on the suits. Alright, wait for it. Alright, now we go. Boom! That was it. I mess up. Got a quick save in there. Gotta wait for it to come back down. Oof. Ah. Keep the suit on so I could shoot the guys. There we go. This goes right through. Slide. Slide. Got him. All right, slide. Doctor Pest, what's up, man? Glad you could jump in. It's been a long time since I since I streamed. Yes, got past it. Oh, boss time. Let's see, if we can beat this boss. Got my Patriot suit on. I guess I don't have enough energy for <laughs> Patriot stuff. Nice, there's some energy. I'll have to wait for that to come down.
here comes. Sly! Nice. Wish I could grab that. But I can't, gotta wait. Make it any better into the boss battle, but at least we'll have better health so far. Slide! Oh god. There we go. Okay. Wait for it. Don't take the slide yet. Get it on the down. Hey, what happened to your TC with the chalkboard paint? Well, that wasn't my TC, but if you're referring to the video, that we chalkboard painted. That was my friend's. Um, I think he might have sold it because that was quite some years ago. A lot of people, I got a lot of views on that video though. A lot of people were, I guess, curious on how to chalkboard your car back then and found that video. Hopefully it helped out some. I think this next part is right when we get into it. To the boss battle. Stage 4. Or area, area 7. You have stage 4, area 7. Boom. All right, we got a little bit better health. Let's see what it says. Game facts, stage four. No boss fight for the Disney's abilities part. The trick is to stay near the center of the room. Rudder, slide under the droids as they jump over you. If you and time him with the blades every few seconds, that will keep him from using their jump kick and side kick which are difficult to avoid. Don't bother using the rocket or nude suits to avoid them. They will really jump onto you and cause massive damage. No rocket, no nude. But I could probably do the, doesn't say anything about the Patriot. The Patriot suit. Well, if I got zero on them and <laughs> they devastated me. I remember seeing that video years ago, and I always wondered what happened to that car. I know so many people comment on it. Um, his name is Kyle, my buddy. I have to see if I can reach out to him, and uh, maybe I can do a, like an update video or something like that, because everyone always is curious if the paint stayed on and all that. I'll be doing one on my video probably when it's been a full year, so I can show people, you know, here's the paint job after one year of painting it with chalkboard paint. You know, how does it hold up? I gotta get some sliding down better to avoid that. It's not taking any energy off of me. There's one. And I ran out of juice. Okay, this is working. This is working. Fingers crossed, guys. That's one down. Yes! That is how we do it. Let's torch this place and get away. Running at ludicrous speed. A successful escape. Stage five. I think this is the last level. So we could possibly beat this on stream. Captain Halgebra, what's up, man? 
Glad you can make it to the stream. We're playing some Power Blade 2. Never played it before. I beat the first one. We're cheating a little bit because I got I got save states we're playing on the NES Classic here. I'm still enjoying the game. That's what it's all about, having a good time. Figure we could get through it quicker that way. What is this? Okay. Got some slowdown going. Pretty neat. I like how each stage kind of has their own scrolling stage, scrolling part of the stage. Looks like there's ten parts in this. Two out of ten here. Two out of ten ain't bad. Oh god. Okay, I can wait for here and jump. Perfect. Boom. I've heard good things about this game, but isn't the card expensive? Yes, it is. That is why we are playing on the NES Classic. Gonna be my hamburger. Get a save. I'm actually curious on what what the cart is going for currently right now. Let's check on video game price charting. Because the first one I said I picked up maybe four or five years ago, and I think I paid 30 bucks, 40 bucks or so then. And I was like, oh, this game looks sweet. Got that 80s vibe. Okay, so on price charting, guys, you can pick up a copy of this game loose for $420. It's $1,000 in box. $1,000 if you want this in the box. <laughs> 400 something dollars. Uh, Power Blade 1, though, is going for 47 and 100 in the box. So, John Aguilera. <laughs> hey, Russ, what you doing? <laughs> We're playing some Power Blade. As you can see, I'm the classic because it costs $400 if you want the card. I don't know if I saw this at Portland. I want the guy that climbs the walls. Uh, Newt. Newt. Gonna give me a battery. I'm gonna run out of energy. Two bars. There's a battery. Get it. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Cutscene? Jacqueline! Thank goodness you're okay. Something's terrible. It's happening here. I discovered the true identity of the president of the Delta Foundation. Is an alien from outer space. He is now spreading his troops all around, preparing to invade the Earth. The offer he made to the government was meant to raise funds to carry out his plan of invasion. We must exterminate the Delta Foundation immediately, otherwise our days will be numbered. You better get out of here and leave the rest to me. Alright. Oh my goodness. Dr. Pess said he picked up Power Blade 2 eight years ago for $45. <laughs> Retro Robbie's in the stream. What's up? He he owns both of them. I have the first one, uh, but I don't have the second one, nor do I have any intention buying the second one. But it's a great game. We're still enjoying it through the classic. Oh boy, this looks tough. Spiked walls and ceiling. Oh, it's like Battletoads. 
Are you riding the uh, snake? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to uh, use. Oh no! What am I doing? Well, I guess we can just do that. Same thing. Save a life. Save a life. Uh, new. I guess we could try the rocket. Just zip across, right? I really wish I would have started collecting much earlier. Eh. Yeah, it would have been cheaper, but, you know, everyone wasn't into it, so it wasn't on, on the radar with so many people. Now everyone loves Nintendo. Get in there. Jeez. We got two bars. It's not looking good. One bar. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I have a feeling that starting next year, any prices I'm gonna get cheaper and cheaper. I don't know. I might maybe they might be going up because more people are just knowing about the games and. I mean, so many people want to try to sell them at the high prices. Here's a trend that I've seen so far at a lot of the conventions is a lot of people have these high-end games, but no one's buying them. A lot of booths will have two or three copies of Little Samson for, you know, $800, and, like, no one's paying that anymore. So maybe people will stop paying that, so then the price will go down. They're like, all right, maybe I can get, you know, $600 for it instead. Instead of eight. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'm saving right here. <laughs> it's getting intense. Intense game of snake. Oh, am I gonna get stuck? Turn into the rocket. Wait, I can't switch. Oh, because I have no energy. I'm screwed. <laughs> I remember no one was into it years ago. I blame YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's how a lot of people ended up figuring out about hidden gem games, and they got on a lot of people's radars. That just pushed me off. So it was harder to find games on the cheap because then everyone wanted that game, you know? They, was, they saw the angry video game nerd review of such and such game and now everyone wanted to get that game or whatever. Or maybe they watched a Metal Jesus video and they're like, oh, that game does look fun. Let me find it at the convention. Price going up. Boom. We did it. Halfway there, guys. Need some freaking energy for my. What's that here? It's gonna be gone by the time I get back up there, or maybe not. No, uh, too late. Get him! Do I go in here? Oh, okay. I guess I gotta go in the water. I don't have any, uh, on my water suit, so we're kind of screwed on that. We could probably farm here and maybe get some energy. If these guys are ever gonna drop any. No. There we go. So much slow down. We got it. Ugh. Whew. Just made it into that one. 
We're gonna save. What are people saying in the chat here? I had no money or else I would have been buying more games when I was younger. I did buy several collections from a few friends though. You get the friends discount and all that. I wasn't playing retro consoles back then. I was sticking with modern until a couple years ago where I wanted to go back and play my old games. Mm -hmm. John says, I love my Genesis. Toy Story was my bleep. <laughs> but he plays all kinds of stuff. Yeah, luckily, um, I didn't sell off a whole lot of my stuff. Quick story, the only thing I did sell off was my entire <laughs> Sega CD collection with the Sega CD. This included They, Popful Mail, Lunar, and then a bunch of filler stuff to GameStop. And I got Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube Collection Edition. I traded in all that stuff, probably hundreds of dollars of stuff, and walked out with one game. Um, so I definitely regret that. <laughs> see, we can get a little juice in the water here. Maybe I can get some, some more. Well, that was a storage section. Oh, there we go. Area 10 of 10. Stupid offender with multiple copies of expensive game charging outrageous prices. That's just bad business. When you see a vendor with multiple expensive games, people know the game. Right, right. I think they more or less want the game there as like an attention grabber to be like, Oh, look, he's got little Samson. Like, if anything, if you're going to have multiple copies, keep one under the table. So then if you sell said game, you can replace it with your other copy. That's more of just bragging rights. You're like, oh, I got a couple little Samsons. <laughs> um, try to save whatever we got. This guy. Uh, okay, electrocute it. Oh, and I did. Where do we get to start from? Because I had no energy. I got plenty of guys. We're going to have to start. Oh, man, you would start way over here. You have to complete six sections. <laughs> That's why we save state. All right, we'll use what we can to have a water here. Ah, oh, you kidding me? Was that a heart behind there? Am I inside something? Inside the alien ship? Nope, I don't want nuke. Water. Nope, not rocket. One more time, W. Oh, you know why I didn't even notice I have um, I have L for life I can I can get some more energy I got two of them ready boom baby Nothing. This is it. Look at this dragon looking guy.
I only sold my Game Boy stuff. It was back in middle school, and I sold it with about 15 games for 100 bucks. I got everything back now, though. Not bad. Dr. Pest regrets selling my AES and MVS carts. Also had a Neo Geo cab. Yo, those are very expensive. Uh, they come through the game store here and there, and yeah, definitely 100 bucks and all that. Captain Albert says, good luck finishing, Russ. Have to get to bed for work tomorrow. Cool, man. Appreciate you swinging by the stream, man. I'm glad you liked it. Hit the thumbs up, man. And yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> John Aguilar. I found a few of my Game Boy games in a duffel bag in my basement Sunday that I thought were long gone. If only I could find my lost Dreamcast games from when my parents moved away from their last house. Hey, good thing with the Dreamcast. You could always burn the games. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the power one. <laughs> nothing, got nothing on him. What's the technique here? <laughs> Dragon droid. Oh, and there is a stage. Stage six. So there's one more level after this. First of all, put the Patriot suit on. That will absorb the dragon's shots. Shoot the dragon while it's in the air. Slide when it flies over you, since it will try to land on your head. If you don't get hit, don't stop shooting. Since that's the only way to get the dragon off the ground and in the air. If you let it stay on the ground, you'll die quick. Okay. Damn, we got nothing on him. Oh, we got a little bit. Alright, we're making some progress here. <laughs> Captain Alger. Don't forget to grade those papers. Oh. to shoot him so he he flies oh, I forgot I do have here we go some energy there Closer. Now I wonder where you would start. Well, it's not really worth it. I have the the energy thing here I can use. How's game hunting scene around? Wait, it was this chat? How oh, he's talking to the chat? How is game hunting around your area? Yeah, I haven't gone game hunting in a little bit. One, one hit, we would have had him. Here we go, here we go, we got this. We got this, we got this. Hmm. Damn, I did better on the last one. <laughs> Turn. Wooden 
turn. Blame the controls. collapsed and a passageway appeared underneath he's just falling like yeah. Ooh. can I can I even uh jump on that like lava looking thing we're gonna find out because I don't have any energy for my other suits yep you just sink Big old bugs. Ah, oh, gonna get hit. Take a couple hits there. Section. 14 sections in this one. But this is the last level. Damn, we got nothing from that. Oh, oh. Remind me of those things from Castlevania. Like the little dragons. Let's save going on here. What are you guys saying? Russ, too. How's the game hunting scene in your area? I haven't gone in a while. If we got the Goodwills and everything. Um, savers. Forget if everyone has savers. Um, but I haven't looked for any games. Maybe maybe I'll go tomorrow. I have tomorrow off. So I'm bringing Lionel to the vet and that's it. So I'll, I'll swing by a few stores and maybe see. John says, my area for hunting is iffy. I did get some nice things during garage sale season. I usually buy out everything for a ridiculous cheap price. I hate when little kids are selling games, though. I hate to lowball them. <laughs> I make sure they ask their parents regarding my offer. John says, John, I live in Vegas. Dr. Pess says, John, I live in Vegas. And the thing about hunting out here is we don't have many people that have lived or been born since the 80s and oh that's right so everyone sold everything before they went out well you know Lion, are you nice you're up now come here yeah sit with daddy he's being restless let me give him some treats let me get him some treats and i need more water look it's empty <laughs> be right back come on
Okay. energy get through it how did I die and I had the rocket suit <laughs> I can see up your nose. What's up, Sean? Wait, should I get closer? I would do a. <laughs> We're playing some Power Blade 2 on my emulating here. <laughs> I don't want that suit. This game goes for $400 loose. I can't be spending that much on a game. Let's go. Let's see if we can get past this part. Where are we in? Four of fourteen. Crap. Nope. Chilling in bed. Nice, man. Just relaxing. Did you have a good Halloween? Did you go out? Did you dress up? Did you hand out candy? My mom only got seven people came trick-or-treating, so I have all the leftover candy because <laughs> no one no one came out I only had seven kids okay, we're gonna switch to the rocket suit so I'm gonna keep falling there we go okay boom wait it out Got two bars of suit stuff. Gotta be closer to the end now. Oh god, no more suit for me. Oh wow, I just made that. Oh, I gotta just tap that button to get up there. Woo! Freaking made it. Get that save. <laughs> I'm so over NES collecting. Oh, I know. After I got this with all the games, I really didn't buy. I haven't bought any NES games. I've been buying, you know, Switch games, um, even handheld stuff. No kids came. I was supposed to come up there for Halloween, but missed my train. So I told the fam I'd be up there in a week for Thanksgiving. <laughs> nice, man. You have to yeah, let me know. We'll get together, do some stuff. There's a train that uh, drops off in West Haven. I ended up going um, last night to my buddy um, from Retro Gaming Arts YouTube channel. And we watched the movie Silent Hill. Which I liked. It was fun. Got a pizza. I ended up staying there till about 1 a.m. And then I had to drive back to go to work. I had to be in work yesterday at 2 in the morning. So I worked till 10.30. Got out, took a nap. And I got up today at like 5. 
so that's why I'm kind of up now. But I do have to get up early tomorrow to bring Lion-O to the vet. But I'm off tomorrow, so shouldn't be too bad. Um, oh, I'm, oh wait, that's right, I can touch this. I was like, <laughs> I'm screwed, I can't get up. Give me that hamburger. Ah. Definitely wild looking background there. There's supposed to be eggs or like, what's going on? They're like, how can we make it really trippy looking? This freaking blimps dropping fire bombs. Can we get on that? No, all right, we'll go under it. Oh God, what is this? <laughs> that wasn't good. Can I slide over? Okay, let's see. Oh, good, I could. I don't know if I could slide over that. What are you guys saying? Nice to meet you. Russ, have good night. Oh, John's out. All right, John. Hey, thanks for watching the stream, man. We'll catch you later. Nuker43, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I stayed till 5 a.m. Was watching Paul play Resident Evil 7. Oh, they were setting that up before I left um, to play Resident Evil 7. Funny story, before that, um, I ended up playing the game Catherine on PS3. And Paul was like, dude, gotta play Catherine so hard. And then he just handed me the controller. He was on like stage five or like level five or something. It was like qu quite a ways into the game. And I did a puzzle. Maybe it was like 10, 15 minutes and I beat it. And he was like, whoa, whoa, Russ Lyman beat this puzzle. And then I was like, I gotta leave because I gotta get to work. <laughs> Sean says, I got tomorrow's video all done. So I'm planning on ordering a pizza and watching Crown Jewel. I'm not sure what that is, but pizza sounds good. <laughs> That quick area seven eight yep it was just just kind of like a blow through section that was eight there's nine look at that mummy monster looking thing we need the water one I'm gonna run out of juice though oh I need I need the nuker oh I ran out could have climbed up there Oh, I guess I can't kill that one. Oh god, it's coming after me. How am I supposed to get those? I might be able to get some energy from the fish because they'll keep respawning. If I can kill that freaking ball guy. Oh, it's the WWE pay-per-view from Saudi Arabia. Nice! Whew. Guess you gotta keep the suits on for that. Okay, didn't need it for that. Blow through these guys. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I need a suit in this because I can just... I can just get to the door. Oh, why am I in the suit? Am 
Maybe I could try to get that energy. Because I need to climb on the wall. That one. Oh, there we go. Nice. And I think that just automatically fills up when it gets low. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh! <laughs> you got me with the energy, though. Alright, we're on the right track. Russ, I'm surprised you're not more of a WWE fan because you live so close to the headquarters. I do live a few towns over. I go to the, all the, um... David's house when the pay-per-views are on. We just watched the women's one. Um, I, I want to go see a live one. I thought that'd be kind of fun. I just haven't got the chance to, but yeah, the headquarters is very close to where I live. Man, he goes so slow in the water there. That'll fill up. Sean's out. Hey, man, thanks so much for coming into the stream. I appreciate it, man. I wonder if we could just chill here. Let me save, and then I can try to farm for some burgers. <laughs> and just stay in this because I got a lot of energy with that oh I do have I mean I can use whatever I can get because I have one of the life tanks the L there they might be done giving me stuff I don't think they're gonna drop anything now. All right, moving on. Evolution was good. Wish they had more individual matches, though. Yeah, I'd say it, it ended early, like I thought, from watching the other pay-per-views. I was, I was editing the top five. Um, fun Halloween games while I was at David, so I wasn't fully watching everything, but some of the matches were pretty good. Did you watch the freaking thing after it, the Halloween special with um, Matt Hardy in it? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, we had that on, and we are like, what is this? And David was telling me a lot of the old wrestlers. He's like, oh, this is a wrestler with the guy eating worms, and he's like, he used to do that in the ring all the time. <laughs> oh my god, it's so wild. Nice. Alright, we're blowing through these guys. Here we go. Looks like I gotta do some sliding. We'll see what it looks comes out to here. Am I stuck? Does it not go up to the top? Do I have to jump? I don't know what was that all about. Maybe you can't fall on that one. Okay, hit 
the block here. Okay, and then I should be able to slide on onto that little thing. The timing's good, like here. Oh, come on. The Boogeyman, yeah, that was very classic WWE right there. Hey, I don't remember the Boogeyman, because I watched it back in the day too with like Ultimate Warrior and Yoko Yoko Ono. And all those guys. Nope. That was wrong. Needed to jump or something there. Hang on, I gotta clean up some litter box action going here. <laughs> Close, gotta be the boss real soon. Yes! Save this. Grab a, grab a Twix. He's more of 2000, kind of the attitude here. Okay, Stone Cold and all that. I didn't watch then. The Rock. Yeah, I stopped watching by then. this way. Oh! I forgot he has a mega slide. <laughs> this takes some freaking skill. As you can see, I, I died on area 14. You go back to one. You have to go through all 14 areas in one shot. Thanks. Oh, Lionel sitting on my keyboard. <laughs> my Lionel. Let's see if I can get him to sit on, on me. Come here. Just sit with daddy. boss battle right here. Could be the last boss. Get situated, Lionel. Okay, you want to go to my side? Alright, good boy. <clears throat> Alright, 
Patriot armor on. Let's do this. Looks like it's uh, gonna be boss rush here. Get stuck on. <laughs> That's cool that Aaron been collaborating with you. You guys need to get together to make some more videos. Yeah, we he reached out to me because he went to where my um, boss has the other retro game store and we exchanged phone numbers and now we're talking weekly and it, you know it's great he can do some quick short videos. I'm like, hey can you do this quick response for me for my collab? He's like, sure man, no problem, I'll put it in. And you know, he's really trying to push for me. Uh, to get more more people viewing my channel, so that that's great. It's great to have that, you know, such a high YouTuber to have your back. All right, we needed the rocket one. took forever. He also, too, yeah, it was funny when I met him at Portland, and I was joking with him, I'm like, do I call you Aaron or Riff? I have you on my phone as Aaron Riff. Because I guess he, he wants it more of a persona so he can step away from it to be known as Riff on, like, YouTube or whatever. I don't know the full story of what had happened, but... such a pain. Right, this one wasn't too bad. Um, who do we use? Newt. I think the Newt suit. No, you know what? I could just go... Well, we'll go with Newt. But it was, uh... Yeah, it was just shoot them, shoot them, slide. Let me start that over. I'm bouncing all over. We got this. We got this. like this. Boom. Bada bing. There we go. Now we're starting to get the hits. Got it. Perfect. Yes. Juice me up. This guy. Dr. Press says, your channel's been growing though. I remember when you had less than a thousand subs. Oh, thanks man for, you know, being with the channel and me that long and supporting me so much. Um, being on Aaron's video, I went up 140 subs, so that that's great that that many people check me out. So hopefully, they keep coming back and my you know views will go up. Doing my best to put out as much content as I can and keep it quality and entertaining. Um, who do we use for this guy? I think it was Newt too, and we just kept shooting. Oh, you know what? It wasn't new. It was Patriot, because it absorbs those shots. Let me let me restart so I can keep some health. Not ah, blast! I didn't save after this. Start over. 
nuke for this one. Back and forth. Back and forth. Give me some juice. Pause. Save it. Alright. Patriot shoot. So you remember Patriot. Because it absorbed the little things that would float around there. That he shoots. Yeah, those missiles. Bad, doing bad. I'm supposed to jump. Not supposed to jump. It's gonna destroy my health. There we go. I think we got it. Yes. You come this far. It's changing, morphing into the alien. Ah. And he looks like Alien from Aliens. I will stick with Patriot. It seems to be a badass suit, right? It's disappearing. There we go, that's got some on it. It's probably gonna be like 10 forms, right? That was too easy. Let's torch this place and get away. Mission completed. Was that it? There's got to be more. Because that was, that was like way easy. Mankind has been saved by this man again. However, his achievements will never be known to the general public. He is an SP and is not even supposed to exist in our society. Thank you. <laughs> Guess that was it. I mean, I was using the save state, so you would essentially have to do that in one shot. So doing it with the save states helped amend it tremendously, but that was definitely an underwhelming final boss battle. <laughs> I would have thought he had like two more forms or something. We'll see if anything else comes up. Okay, ending music could be better. Maybe, maybe we'll pick up. Nope. <laughs> We're getting to the point. It's the same as the opening music. That's lame. December twenty fourth, twenty two thousand. Christmas Eve. Should we pl I'll play this on Christmas Eve and do another live stream. They're definitely pulling one from Die Hard here. If it takes place at Christmas time and then you have like this corporate guy. Is it a Christmas song? I don't know. 
<laughs> all those bosses and he still has on those awesome shades. The government considered the matter very seriously and assigned a top secret mission to SP headquarters. Your mission, issued secretly from the Department of Defense, is to destroy the Delta Foundation. As our policy states, we can't get involved in the event. Something should happen to you. That's the story. <laughs> Alright, that was it. Full playthrough of Power Blade 2. Pretty fun. Maybe I said I'll play it again on uh, Christmas time. Since it takes place on December 24th. Dr. Pets, thanks so much, man, for sticking around and watching. We got a few other people watching the stream still. I'll try to stream again uh, this week. Maybe I'll stream tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, Christmas is coming up next month. This year has gone by so fast. Tell me about it. We're ready for 2019 now. All right, I'm out of here. Hit the subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already and the thumbs up. As always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman, and I'll see you next stream. <laughs>